Bula Malele Talofa and welcome to Season 7, Episode 84 of Breakfast Bites by TevovoSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People sports news on a sunny and bright Saturday morning, 30th December 2023. Coming to you with Tan Tavanisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Blue Continent. In Rugby Union and Rugby League, our sports quote of the year for 2023 comes from the NRL in Australia. Uh, we just find ways to get people who aren't even on the field to make big decisions by looking at a play again and again and again. Slow it down and manufacture an opinion. South Sydney Rabbitohs head coach Jason Dimitrio articulates every coach's frustration with the television match official, TMO, and the bunker. In sports biz, ever since the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in 2018 to allow states to make their own laws in regards to sports betting, many states have rushed in legislation to do so as an easy revenue booster. As a result, the total U.S. betting market is projected to hit U.S. $100 billion for 2023. And as, as such, the market is beginning to center around a top-tier group of sharks, including DraftKings, FanDuel, MetaBet, MGM, Caesars, ESPN Bet, Fanatics, and Bet365. However, California and Texas, the two most populous states, and therefore industry whales, have thus far shown stiff resistance to legislation. In football, Paris Saint-Germain superstar Kylian Mbappe is now closer to joining FC Barcelona than bitter rivals Real Madrid after they pulled out of the race to sign him as a reward to the Catalans for remaining with them in the European Super League project. Yeah, right. Madrid courted the Fre uh, Frenchman as a teenager before he ditched them in to join PSG from Monaco in 2017. In mid-22, it appeared as though the World Cup winner would make the switch from the French capital to its Spanish counterpart, only for M uh, Mbappe to have a change of heart and renewed terms with his current Qatari employers. In a deal which uh, topped Forbes's list of the world's highest paid soccer players. In combat sports, do you know who Abdul Wahid is? None other than undefeated WBA lightweight world boxing champion Javonta the Tank Davis, who has converted to Islam. And that's a wrap for TableForSports.com. I'm Calden Kamir. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, kakite, and thank you all too much for all your love and support. <laughs>